The Birdie drama has been going on since around 2017, and it gets weirder and weirder as the years pass by. I remember being 11 and finding out about this stuff and being extremely concerned, but I'd be lying if I said some of it wasn't entertaining. The first drama that Birdie put himself through was making a killing video of some of Kitty Dog's fans, which I'm sure a lot of you already know if you know Birdie. This was pretty stupid, but not out of the ordinary for a 12-year-old child. Boy, do I miss those days. The days of concerning yet understandable immature drama. Now it's become a shitstorm of mentally unstable teenagers. Basically, what's going on right now is... Birdie still hates Fontic, Rib Chills, Unicorn Tills, whatever you want to call them, and has a whole ass server dedicated to hating them. It's pretty much a cult at this point. Cinnabar slash Scootaloo Love Sands is wrapped up into this now, and I'm extremely disappointed in her. I've supported her for years, and I tried to justify what she did at first, but the more I look into it, the more I realize she's becoming Birdie number two. She has a crush slash possible obsession with Birdie, and she's starting to turn into him. Basically, what happened is Cinnabear started liking Birdie for some reason, while still in a relationship with Ambrixen. At first, I thought Cinny just broke up with her girlfriend because she realized it was unfair to her that she was falling for someone else, and that would have been mature of her. But that's not what happened. She was pretty manipulative and abusive to her girlfriend, and stopped dating her. I've heard she stopped dating her because she realized she was straight, but I also heard she stopped for no reason from another source, so I don't know. Pretty shitty either way. Anyways, another part of the birdie drama I want to talk about is birdie being trans. Normally I'd say it isn't anyone's business, but you know, I'm trans, so I feel like I can speak here. Many people say that birdie isn't actually trans and started pretending to be since Unicorn Tears only likes guys, and I will say it's possible. I read some journal entries of Birdie's on a Google Doc form, which I'll link in the description, that Birdie said something about wanting to be a boy so that Unicorn would like him. Another thing is, Birdie constantly mocks Unicorn for being non-binary and for seeming feminine. This could be evidence for either way, but I think he's projecting for sure. Maybe he's projecting because he's self-conscious about seeming feminine in some ways, or wanting to be more feminine, but can't because of fear of being judged or dysphoria which is something I can personally relate to. Or maybe he's annoyed that he pretended to be trans for them, yet now they're trans too, but doesn't try hard to pretend. Quote-unquote pretend. Thing is, we'll never know. Only Birdie himself knows who he really is, and even then it's hard for a young person to know their identity, especially when they're otherwise mentally ill. Still though, I think people should refer to Birdie with he-him pronouns, because that's what he's comfortable with. Even if you don't give a shit about what he's comfortable with, when people refer to him with she, her pronouns, I get the feeling they might be transphobic. So, even if you hate the person, just refer to them with the right pronouns. Thank you. Anyways, yeah, I forgot to, like, write the rest for the ending, but Birdie's fucked. (laughs) Seriously, like, two years ago I thought he was fucked, but then I was like, no, he's... You know, he's a kid, He's he'll be fine, but nope, he's he's still a kid. It's possible for him to get better, I suppose, but he's done so much fucked up shit. He's, honestly, you know what he did. You might not, I'm sorry, I'm not good at making long documentary videos, just watch any videos i don't fucking know read the google docs i linked in the description because that's like that that shit's (laughs) mind-blowing but um that's like most of the evidence for everything um sorry i'm saying um a lot it's just you know this is kind of crazy that (sighs) i'm just gonna go on a tangent here but i used to like (laughs) have a fan account of birdie on my uh, in, on Instagram, and I loved the their art and stuff, but yeah, that was before I realized the drama, or like how bad the drama was. Anyway, thank you for watching, um, this was kind of a, a useless video, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. I just wanted to give my two cents on the, especially, like, I wanted to say how disappointed I was in Cinny, because for real, I, I, I really loved her. She was one of my favorite creators for years, but 
I don't support her anymore because of what she did. Also, the whole Bernie Trans thing. I really wanted to touch on that just because, you know, it's a it's a topic I can, I feel like I'm educated on, even if I'm kind of young. I'm younger than Bernie and Cindy, so that's kind of weird. But, um, yeah, thank you for watching. Oh, yeah, yeah. Also, uh, stay fresh cheese bags. Yes, that's my catchphrase.